Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Melanie, your Shisha and Scrapper. So today, today I am back with the fourth and final week of my August mini series, which has been using washi tape on my layouts. So this base page that I have here is from the Vicky Booten Let's Wander uh, mixed media paper pad. I will link it down below. Um, so what I love about this is that the mixed media is already done for you. Um, pretty much your base page is already done for you and you just kind of get to sit back and embellish. Um, so it was really fun. I decided what I was going to do is use my washi tape where those white stripes are. Um, and I don't know, I guess make it more colorful. Use my washi tape that way. Um, I kind of was struggling with uh, my fourth kind of layout using washi tape and I was just going through the mixed media pad trying to figure out like what to use not necessarily for the mini series but then I came across this one with the stripes already done for me and I thought that would be perfect to add washi to. The papers I'm going to be using came up from Dana at Scrapbook Studio NC. Uh, she has a mystery box. Uh, it's $25 and you get $50 worth of product. You get papers. I got stamps, washi, um, stickers, just anything you can think of. Um, and what I love is that the papers she picked out kind of came like as a kit. So that's kind of where I got the color scheme for the washi. And I, it's not really from a particular um, set, the washi tape. It, I guess it did all kind of come together. Uh, it was like one of a big pack of all kinds of different colors and designs. It was either from Hobby Lobby or Joann's. I don't remember which one. Um, but I am going to be using this fun picture here of my husband, my oldest, and my husband's mo mother. I just thought it was perfect because the background of it is lime green and it just matches the paper and the washi so well. Um, so this paper here is actually navy um, with those triangles. And what I decided to do because I only have the one photo is, and I wanted to use kind of multiple papers, I decided to kind of layer the papers um, behind the photo and just single I just backed it with white um, so you can see I'm kind of trying to figure out how to measure um, the paper because I did want it one overlapping kind of two one longer than the other and I had this third paper that kind of brings the pink in it's got more of a Kelly green the navy and the pink and I wanted it to incorporate that a little bit too so what I decided to do is actually um, run that horizontally across those two layers and I really like the way that that turns out uh, once I got the placement I did not want to <laughs> move the papers because that's exactly where I wanted them so I did just tape them down like that and then I honestly didn't even tape that stripe I just placed it down and then put the photo over top that had tape on it and I mean it's stuck so that is going to be kind of the layout um i obviously am going to embellish but that's kind of the layering and the base page so to speak i before i started the layout i kind of went through my um ephemera pack my stickers to find things that kind of were the same color scheme and there was this travel collection by my mind's eye and it was perfect it was the green the pink and the navy and so I'm just going to layer those two pieces down on the bottom left. Uh, my Vicky Booten sticker, chipboard stickers, had this bright pink scalloped um, sticker. And I thought that was great. So I just lined that up under the photo. The left hand side is going to get cut off or covered up. But I don't know, chipboards are sometimes too hard to cut and then store for later. So um I did end up just covering up a little bit of it and I don't know I really love the way that those two pieces overlap and still give me a little bit of space for journaling um, the top says destination and the bottom might say date I'm not a hundred percent sure but it was just perfect um, a perfect little cluster I feel like 
So that is going to be kind of the base of that bottom cluster. And then I am going to move on. There were some great um, chipboard stickers from Vicki Booten that were the perfect colors. So this one says big smiles and they all three have like the biggest grins on their faces. So I knew that that was gonna kind of be my title. Um, and so I placed that to the right there for a cluster. And I'm going to add this heart that says love. I'm popping that up on some foam tape and kind of overlapping that on the title just a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to add to the cluster some more. Kind of playing around with the placement of that. I wasn't really sure. I didn't know if I wanted to cover up. I was covering up the S a little bit more than I wanted to, but then I do end up putting it back and kind of, I guess I slid it over just a tad. And then there was this lime green um, phrase sticker, quite a big one, but it said, make these moments count. Um, and we live quite a bit of ways, quite a ways away. <laughs> wow, I don't know, from my in-laws. And so I just thought that fit perfectly too, because this was a visit with them and we definitely try to make the time with them count. Um, so I thought that phrase was just perfect. I have these color study stickers left over from um, my page kit that I bought from Not Just For Boys and it had that pretty butterfly. This is going to go into my layout or my album. Um, so I kind of girlied it up, I guess. I don't think that's a word, but it is today. <laughs> um, and then that phrase um, or that sticker sheet had a sticker that said love this life and I loved that as well just thought that was a perfect kind of shape and saying for this layout as well I added another butterfly at the top there um, pop that one up on some foam tape and then I'm just going to kind of go through with some enamel dots um, to finish off the layout so this one came together really quickly it helped that the background paper was already pretty much done for me and i just added the washi tape to add more color to it so i had a lot of fun with this one and absolutely love the outcome i'm not usually a bright colored i don't know layout person i guess but i have been just loving the bright colors recently. Um, I had a couple last month in July um, that were super bright colored um, and just loved the way they turned out. So I am adding a Nouveau drop along with some enamel dots. Um, I got a new one. I think that's the rhubarb crumble. It is a bright pink um, and I thought that matched perfectly. And then I am adding kind of a navy and then a green as well and just kind of scattering those in each of the clusters um the top and the cluster on the right hand page i put three either enamel dots or nouveau drops uh, but then on the bottom left because the ephemera pieces are so large I decided just to do two enamel dots so I did a navy and I did the a green one and also because the pink kind of in that cluster is more of a light pink instead of the bright pink um, nouveau drop that I used on the other two clusters so I hope you guys enjoyed not only this layout but this mini series that I put together for August and I hope you guys stick around for next month and see what I have in store. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.